It was April 2022. I can't believe that it was only three days in the Amazon jungle. We started out flying from Quito to Coca, where we got to enjoy the local market with our wonderful group from Overseas Adventure Travel. This is a preparation. It's a chopped up bar, three bars. Roma Tila is called Chuchu Guaso. Chuchu Guaso. From there, we boarded a motorized canoe and traversed a small portion of the Napo River, one of the main feeders of the Amazon River. Next, we took a small tributary to our home in the jungle, the Arena Lodge. And here's our fun little cabana. We enjoyed many creatures, including watching the delightful squirrel monkeys. It was amazing in the Amazon jungle to experience the bats, the night music by canoe, seeing the red eyes of a couple caiman, and the wide variety of insects during a night walk. My personal favorite was the pink toad tarantula. Then there was the daytime jungle walk. What has one of our guides found for us to see? How did he find this minuscule rain frog, then get it onto the end of this stick? Then there's the leaf cutter ants. Watch out where you step. Now what are we looking at? Wow, check out this chain of caterpillars. I also enjoyed finding fascinating fungi. Our destination, the local temple. Fear. Respect and fear. We think about those books, they better don't spend the night. We got to try our hand at fishing for piranha. Woohoo! 
and the daytime canoe. So many amazing things to see, including the most prehistoric bird in existence, referred to as the stinky turkey. Many beautiful birds. A three-toed sloth. Giant river otter. How about the boa on a tree limb above our heads? One of my favorite aspects of traveling with OAT is a day in the life of. Meet Christina of the indigenous Quichua village. She shared her daily life with us in a walk through her farm in the jungle, including cutting down a palm to retrieve its heart for our upcoming culinary enjoyment. Along with harvesting numerous items for our meal, which she put into her huge basket. Along the way, we even enjoyed some face painting. It is a must to keep the blade sharp. Now it's time for us to join in the meal preparation. We ate white cacao seeds, yucca, plantain, and fresh heart of palm, catfish wrapped in a roomy panga leaf, and jungle bacon. We were invited to bring gifts. The women were touched to receive jewelry I had made for them. Christina's mother-in-law is a local healer, and she graced each of us with a very special blessing. Thank you for joining me on this very special adventure.